Hello everyone. I uh, hope that you are being safe and healthy this week. I hope everything's going well for you and your family. Um, I'm sure that you are well aware of what the governor has signed into effect today, May 1st, the first phase of the opening of the state of Texas. Um, you've seen retail stores starting to open, restaurant dining rooms starting to open. Um, you've seen a lot of things changing from the um, strict guidelines of the stay, in, stay at home to the allowance of some freedom from the house and uh, small gatherings um, of essential things. Um, obviously, the first question that a lot of y'all have come to me with is, when is the church going to open? Um, as much as I know we all have enjoyed the online services, um, all of us, including myself, uh, have felt a little bit amiss by the fact that we have not been able to worship together physically in our beautiful and wonderful sanctuary. Um, and so, of course, as I've told y'all uh, every time we meet on Facebook and on YouTube, um, my prayer is that... Um, that the day of us being able to worship in that sanctuary comes quickly. And that is still my prayer. Um, of course, that prayer is always caveated with the fact that I want us to, to not just be able to meet, but be able to do it in such a, in such a way that we are safe and healthy with each other. Um, and that's what this next step is going to be. It's trying to figure out how we can open up the church to worship together with, um, while also... Uh, keeping a safe distance from each other while keeping ourselves uh, healthy, um, doing all of these social distancing things that we need to do to make sure that every member of the congregation is at the smallest amount of risk possible um, so that they can come to church without any kind of fear. Um, that being said, uh, the trustees and I have been working towards figuring out what exactly we need um, in the sanctuary between uh, protocols, organization, and actual items so that we can actually open up the sanctuary. What this video is for is for two things. First off, I wanted to let everyone know that this is something that is being talked about. This is something that will be uh, brought action on as quickly as we possibly can. Um, but to let y'all know that we are not going to be meeting um, at the very least within the next two weeks, just because I think that's about that uh, about how long it's going to take for us to get everything in line, so that we, when we do open, we will be healthy about it and safe and wise. Um, and so I've had a number of people contact me asking me if the church was opening this Sunday or next Sunday or when they were opening. Um, and so this is my answer. We are not meeting this week on the May, on May 3rd, and we will not meet on May 11th, Mother's Day. Um, that is as far into the future that I would like to venture, uh, because of course, I don't know what will happen in these two weeks. Um, so be on the lookout for another video to uh, make that announcement of when we will be able to meet back in the sanctuary. But I can tell you that for at least for the next two weeks, we will continue to have worship via YouTube um, and recordings. The second reason I wanted to post this video is that one of the ways that we're going to make sure that we are stay healthy is by continuing the social distancing protocols within the sanctuary when we do open up for worship. This means that there will be six feet between uh, family families, uh, family groupings, um, in the sanctuary. Now, if you've started to, if you heard that and you started to think, wait, if everyone in our church shows up to worship on Sunday morning, there's no way that our sanctuary could hold that kind of protocol. And that's correct, which means that we're going to need to actually have two services, two different services at two different times. Now, of course, we're going to keep the 1045 service on Sunday mornings. That's our normal time. It's kind of set in stone. That's what we always do. We will always have 1045 service on Sunday morning. The second service, we have a little bit of leeway with as to when we put it. There's two times in the day that I would, li that I would like to ask y'all to put in your two cents worth and your opinions on when you would like to see it done. Um, being able to do this on to do uh, the uh, worship services on YouTube is actually kind of presented an interesting um, insight. 
um, analytics of YouTube allow me to see um, a lot of stuff about the viewership of the videos. But one of the things that I found very interesting was when the video was being watched. Um, as you might imagine, um, there was a, a huge spike of viewership at about 10, 45, 11 o'clock on Sunday morning, which is typical. That's when service usually is. However, the other almost 50% of the viewership happened at five o'clock on Sunday evening. I found this to be very interesting. So the poll that you're going to find on YouTube is asking you when you would like the second service, whether you would like to see the second service at nine o'clock in the morning, which is our typical Sunday school hour, which would give us plenty of time to be able to clean the sanctuary between services so that the 1045 service would be would feel safe coming into a brand new, uh, a, a clean and sterilized sanctuary. Or we can have the second service in the evening at five o'clock on Sunday evening. Again, plenty of time to clean the service, uh, clean the sanctuary between the 1045 and the five o'clock service. These are the two options that we're weighing, and I would like to see what the congregation, what y'all have to say about it. Um, there's, obviously, uh, there's one small flaw in this. I know a number of people that don't have Facebook. If you know of anyone that doesn't have Facebook, or if you're watching this on YouTube and you don't have a Facebook account, you can either make a comment down in the comment section of which, um, which ser service time you would like to see, or you can text or call me and let me know what your um, idea is, what you, which one you would favor uh, seeing happen. Um, I pray you understand why we need to do this. Um, and, it's, and, and as much as I would love to see the entire sanctuary filled to the brim with people, that's just not a very wise choice at this point in time. Um, so this is the way in which we're going to move. Um, I ask that you would put, uh, that you would give your input if you, if you have such an input to give um, so that we can make the best choice that we can. Um, and I pray that all of you are healthy and safe. Um, again, I continue to ask for prayers as um, I'm sure as you figured out, I've never been through any of this. No, no pastor has. Um, we're, we're doing the best we can and um, we're trying to learn as much as we can. Um, from as many sources as we can get. So um, please be in prayer for me and our leadership as we decide, as we make these decisions so that we can be wise, we can be safe, and we can be healthy as we make these choices for the church. Um, I pray that you and your family are doing well, and I look forward to being able to worship with all of y'all on Sunday via our YouTube channel, and I pray continually that it will be not very much longer before we can meet in person and worship our God together. God bless you all.